So uh, this this uh, just a quick one here. Uh, this gentleman here is the father of uh, Safi Rose, uh, the little girl that was uh, one of the victims of the Manchester bombing at the Ariana Grande concert, and he's on the Mark Austin show here, giving a comment about a an inquiry into the emergency response to to uh, the aftermath of that bombing, and um, there was a lot of criticism of response times and the efficiency with which uh, paramedics could get to the injured. So, um, they're just having a discussion about it here now. It goes a long way in this. And Safi hung in the, the best she could for a chance to survive. And we believe 100% that if she got that chance, she would have survived. So, uh, she was injured and was laying injured for about 40 minutes before paramedics could get to her. So, uh, that was... Uh, the inquiry concluded that there was a remote chance that she could have survived. Uh, there was another victim who they say categorically would have survived if they'd gotten medical attention quicker. Right, now, so, so, so you can only go on the expert's opinion. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, but you, what you're saying is if there hadn't been the disarray that was clear, uh, that the awful disarray that was So just to be clear that uh, Mark Austin here is framing the whole thing as awful disarray. Clear that night. Uh, um, Safi would be alive. One hundred percent, yes. Because she's a fighter, like her mom. She she would fight to the end. She has. I shouldn't be scrolling through this here, but I just want to move on slightly. And uh, what the report does make clear, Andrew, is that the police and emergency service were, as I say, in disarray. Um, the emergency services have apologised. Do you accept the apologies? No, I don't accept the apologies. Oh, that he's the father of the child who was murdered by an Islamic terrorist, so he's got a very unique perspective on this. And um, maybe there really was a very bad uh, response from the uh, disorganised response from the paramedics. You know, what, what, I, what I do expect is for them to be honest. Yeah, bearing in mind that they've already admitted that their response was uh, inadequate. Anyway. And put their hands up, particularly throughout the inquiry. Yeah, they've, they've done that. And admit to the failings. They have. Because without admitting to the failings, how can you change the future? And we're about to get to the crux of why I'm making this video. This gentleman who suffered a terrible loss and Mark Austin are about to start talking about how can we improve our emergency responses to when terrorists randomly blow up people. And we're about to see a textbook example of the deck chairs being rearranged on the Titanic. Now, I've heard the last few years, excuse after excuse, I've that, that night went well, but it didn't go well. And it's not good enough. They need to admit to the failings of that night before they can move forward and make things better for the future. For future terrorist attacks, which I really feel is the larger issue here. So you don't think they're um, facing up to the failings of that night? The report author says, Andrew, the recommendations are designed to make sure something like this, uh, a response like this never happens again do you think yeah mark would it not be better if the energies were focused on no more uh, radical islamic terrorists being brought into your country to blow people to smithereens possibly might be a more i know mr khan thinks that it's just part and parcel of living in a big city but come on that will be the case no i think pretty much will happen again the same because at the same time just so we're clear we're talking about criticizing a uh, emergency service response to random islamists going around murder mass murdering people uh, uh, london and manchester might be a little bit more prepared but what about they are because they've had many 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 experiences of this kind of thing what can happen say where i am in dorset do you think the dorset police will be able to cope with it probably not probably not anyway that's enough of that uh, Ridiculous, ridiculous bit on a...
Mark Austin's rather silly news program, but again, that gentleman there suffered a terrible loss, so let's not lose sight of that. So thanks for listening.